So here's the problem with my glove box, why it won't stay shut. It's got this piece, and there's just a hole. The little handle thing, the end's busted off. And from looking at these awful pictures online, it looks like there needs to be these little like spring-loaded things on here that when you turn it will release. So the way I've been holding this shut for the past, I don't know, like two years has just been those springs. So I think it's time to start designing the pieces. I'm actually probably going to end up remaking these parts because you can see here, these clips are broken off from there and there. So this piece gets pushed too far into the glove box. And then this little handle, this part's broken off, so I wouldn't really be able to reattach it. I don't really care to lock the glove box, because all that does is, when you stick the key in, it just pulls all these down. And I don't really think that's something I care about recreating. So I'll just make these pieces again, and then add on some sort of mechanism it's like a spring-loaded thing if i can even design that i'm not sure so now i finished designing all the parts this is the piece that will actually go into the glove box that holds this twisting thing but back to this piece you can see i've made these things that i feel like they might just break off but it's that it'll actually catch in the glove box and hold the part and then this I just tried to take all the exact measurements from the existing piece. Now with this, it's the part you actually turn. And I took all these measurements up here from the original piece. And then down here I had to recreate what I thought the actual catch things would look like from just some picture I saw online. And then these are the actual catch things that will end up getting, like they'll be spring loaded and they'll push into the glove box thing, hopefully. All the parts have finished printing. So we got this piece, which is the replacement for this one. This piece, which is the replacement for this one. And these pieces, I got two of these, which are hopefully what they should be replacing. And I need to put springs inside of here. I've already done that for the first one, just to make sure it fit. So now we just need to put this spring in here. And then in order to get it to actually fit, first we need to put this in here, then put this piece in here, and then it should just lock into place. There. Now I need to do the other one. Now they're both in. And they do move a bit. So hopefully, it'll actually work. And I'm actually gonna have to take these out, I just realized, because in order to fit that small hole in the car, I need to take it out, and then I'll have to put them in again. So I guess let's go out to the car and see if it actually fits and works. I managed to get one of these pieces in here, and the other one I did have in, and then it sprung out when I turned it, because I guess it wasn't in good enough. And then when I tried putting it in again, I don't know if you can see, but one of the little plastic catches on the side just broke right off. So I'm going to have to reprint another one of those and then we'll try again. I just printed off four more of these things, so hopefully we can actually get one of them to stay in here and not break. And of course, I get the first one in, so I have these three extras so far for no reason. So now we gotta take out these spacers and we'll see if this will actually work and go into here. Let's get these things unscrewed. Let's see if this actually works. And it doesn't seem to even come up high enough. After removing all the excess supports and test fitting it, this is what we got. So you can see it is quite a bit bigger than what we had before. So 
So I guess now let's go to the car and see if it works. Let's test and see if it'll actually close. I don't want to break it. I think we might need to make these catches a little bit smaller so they don't protrude as much. Now we've got some smaller pieces made, so hopefully we can just stick those in and they'll work. Now let's test and see if it actually works. does. That, no, I thought that broke it. So yeah, you put it up, twist it, and it locks. Twist it, and bring it down, and it opens. And we'll go for a drive to see how well it stays shut, which I think is pretty good, because it only opens when you turn it. I mean, if you put something heavy in there, it probably wouldn't hold up, but it does right now. So, I'm pretty proud of this, actually. You know it's Canada when it's snowing in mid-October. Well, I guess that's not stopping us from going for a drive. So I'll set the camera up right here and we'll just see if it'll actually pop open. Thank <laughs> you.